Okay, what I want to show you in this video is how to do a word search or really anything in the middle of a card. So uh, search for my other video or I'll try to pin it to this one if I can, where I did a birthday card for a boy and you'll see the inside of the card is this space word search. So where I uh, found this is just in Canva in the search. You'll see it comes up as search US letter templates. Um, now I'll show you how I did this one first and then I will show you some other options here. So this comes up as like a worksheet that a teacher could use. So we don't need the um, name and these lines at the top. Name and dates, we can just delete that, delete. Now I need to resize it and the size that I need is right here, 2100 by 1500 PX. Now, if you have the Canva Pro, you just type that in quickly and it resizes it for you. It opens it up in another window in the perfect size for you. So I've got my space word search here. And like I said, this is going to be when he opens up the card, it will be on both sides inside the card. So I, I want to add, it's kind of plain. I want to add something else to it. So I'm going to go to my elements and down here, there's a lot of different cool little space things that I can add. Uh, oh, click on these little, got the wrong thing. Okay. Undo that. Click on these arrows, move it, oh, keeps catching the wrong thing. Okay. Get the box around what you want to move. <laughs> and then move it. I got a new computer and still getting used to the trackpad on it. Okay. I'll show you a quick tip here. If you want to duplicate this, say we want to put it up in the other corner, go to this plus sign here by the garbage can, duplicate. It will make you another copy right on top. So let's put another one over in this corner. That looks pretty cool. Now, see back over here on our graphics. Now remember to get to these graphics, we went to elements on the left hand side here. So there's all sorts of different graphics here. You may have to search for space or astronauts or stars or whatever. Mine automatically popped up because I was searching for this before when I did it. So I am going to uh, add in some stars. So you'll see when you put in stars, this anything, everything you can think of will come up. So take some time, check it out. See what you want to do. Maybe we'll put these. Maybe we'll make it a little bit. Well, we'll see what size we want it. Okay, let's put it over here in the corner. Have it some colored stars. Now, if you wanted to edit that image, come up here, edit image. You can click on um, the different colors. Change those out if you want. Those dots look like they're kind of teal and green, greenish and blue. If you wanted to swap them out for any other colors, you could do that. Um, I think I kind of like that the way it is. It kind of ties in with these purpley and yellow colors. So I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to bring it over here. Now what I want to do is turn it around so that it... Um, there's my arrows. See these turning arrows? Just grab them with your mouse, slide them up and down so that it kind of frames over in this corner. Now see how these ones down here are kind of going over the words? If they were showing up, like if they were taking over the words and you couldn't see the words, what you would do with that is come up to position and click on backwards because you have your stars highlighted, see? And then you would come up here to position and go to backwards. And it's not going to be very noticeable with this, but it puts it behind there. 
So instead of covering up the words, then it will go behind. So you can check that out. Oh, and I just noticed that I moved some of my letters. Okay, so that's how I did the space one. Really quick and easy. The big thing is to make sure that you have the size, the right size, so that when you go into your Send Out Cards app, uh, or you, all you need to do it on your desktop, and load it up as the background for your card, that it fits on the two sides when you open up. Now, I would like to show you some other cool things. So come up here to templates and let's type in maze. So look at these other ideas. Now I have a four-year-old. So for future cards for her, these are so cool. Colored paths, paint the circles around or draw color. So these are all like things that teachers can use, you know, preschool, other things, but they would be perfect to put on the inside of a card. Look at this one, a little farm game. My girl would love that. Getting any ideas how you could use some of these? Add another page. Let me show you some other things. So you're just in the templates. Um, now. Who could use a calendar? Teachers, coaches, course creators, anything that you want your team or your students or your parents, your group that you're working with to know, bring up your calendar in Google, put in your dates of everything that you need, save it, import it into here if you wanna make any changes or make sure that the sizing is right, get it right, and then put it into your send out card, send it in a card to their parents, to their home, so that they get it, so that they have it ready for the next month. How cool would that be? So many ideas. So there's calendars. Um, let's see, what else did I find in here? So other things now with templates, look at the top here. So there's Halloween. Halloween. Oh, this isn't showing me the ones that I might need to put in like worksheets, which gives you more like the school, like worksheets ideas. So here's another one. My girl would love to do these crazy little tracing games and things. She loves that type of stuff. So lots of different ideas that you can use here. Um, spring tracing lines. So just be creative. Think of who you're sending it to. There's coloring sheets. Again, if I was doing this one, I would just delete these things here because I'm not at school, I'm not printing it out at school with their name on it, but I'm putting it inside a card for happy St. Patrick's Day. When she gets it, she's gonna love to open it up and color it. So there's so many cool things that you can do with this. Oh, there's a Merry Christmas coloring one. I think I'm definitely gonna use that. 100 days of school. Oh, here's an Easter basket. Lately, my girl's been wanting to know when Easter is. Okay, so you get the idea. So many things you can do. You can do mazes, you can do word searches, you can do calendars, you can do reminders for parents. This is showing you how to do it on the two flaps when you open it up from like a five by seven card. So hopefully you've learned something with this cool idea. I'm definitely excited for all the possibilities of different things that I can use it for. Perfect for a birthday card. Again, just make it age appropriate. Go on Google and search, word search, whoever. You can even make word searches with kids' names and different, any words that you want that describe them. You can make your own word search and then put it into here to put it into your card. So many ways to make it personalized for your person that you are sending it to. Now, I did a video where I showed you how to put this into the card as your background so that when you open it up, then it's right in there. So look for that video.
And if you want to see the finished product of my birthday card, look for the birthday card video. I'll try to attach them to this one. Good luck creating!